Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is jam-packed. It's a whole house clean. We've got a grocery haul, a crock pot recipe, and probably so much more that I'm forgetting to tell you about, but we have so much going on. This was actually three days of cleaning. I am officially 18 weeks pregnant, almost 19 weeks pregnant, and this is my second pregnancy, and for some reason, this time around, I'm in so much pain. I have yet to figure that out, but it's really hard to get a lot done in one day so we're having to take it day by day and just get done what we can and hopefully I'll get some answers soon on why I am in so much pain um, it could just be this is just a different you know it's a different pregnancy than Oliver's was and it's just gonna hurt the whole time so if that's the case things are just gonna take me a little bit longer to get done which is why I went back to one video a week this one is actually going live on Sunday, but the rest of my videos in April will go live on Friday. And then if I happen to get some extra energy somewhere, I will put one live on a random Sunday. But look for my videos on Fridays this month. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and start out by getting my sheets off of our master bedroom bed and washing them. I'm also going to take our comforter off today and spot treat it because there were several spots from either Oliver or Opie. And so we're going to put that in later. But right now we're going to wash our sheets, go ahead and put all of these hang up clothes away, and then we'll move on. So the reason I wanted to tackle a whole house clean even though I was in so much pain was because things were starting to pile up so bad in every room of the house. The dishes, the laundry, Oliver's room was horrible and even our backyard everything was just starting to pile up and cause me extreme anxiety. <laughs> And so I was ready to get it all tackled and reset because if everything is reset at once, it's really easy for me to upkeep for several weeks on end. But if I just tackle one room at a time and the other rooms are just slowly falling apart still, I have a really hard time staying on top of things. So I really wanted to just spend this week getting my whole house back in order. And I will say it is such a game changer. We have had no problem at all keeping up the house since then. And of course, Will helps me too, but he does work a full-time job. So it's just kind of hard for us to keep up as this pregnancy is very painful. So anyways, we're going to do the best we can, which that's all we can do. So we're going to go ahead and get this master bedroom cleaned up. I'm not doing any super deep cleaning today, but if I see like dust or smeary mirrors as I go, then I'm going to take care of that. But I really just wanted to give every single room in the house a really good reset. I know the weather right now is all over the place across the country, but in Arkansas, it's starting to get super warm. It's in the 70s. Sometimes it gets up to the 80s. And then, of course, we still have those days that are in the 50s and 60s still. But I am so excited for those warmer days. We're starting to get our backyard ready. We set up Oliver's little water table. Pretty soon, we'll get a little pool for the backyard. And Oliver is so excited to go to the beach. He keeps talking about the beach every day. He's like, let's go to the beach. And I'm like, well, we can't just up and leave Arkansas and go to the beach. It's kind of far, so... We're excited to go to the beach this summer. We're excited to swim and get outside. And I feel like this is the time of year where everybody just starts to come alive again. This was a really long winter, I feel like, for everybody. And some of you still have snow where you are. So hopefully it starts to warm up fast where you are and we start to get some really nice warm days. I absolutely am so excited for this summer because we only have a few months before we have a new baby. We're going to have a baby girl in we're actually due early September, but I have a feeling she's going to come late August. 
With Oliver, they took him a week early because of my gestational diabetes. And if that's the case, she will be here the last week of August. So we'll see how that goes. But we are so excited to enjoy the summer and then, of course, welcome our new baby in the fall. So very excited about that. I'm going to go ahead and unload this grocery order that I picked up from Walmart. And I'll share a little haul with y'all. And I'm also going to share a crock pot recipe later on. Okay, I just got back from Walmart, picked up our grocery order for the week. And I was going to share with y'all what we're doing for dinners. So today is Tuesday. I've been getting groceries on Tuesday, which is kind of random, I know, but it's just like the day that works out for us. Except for tonight, um, I was going to make roast in the crock pot and Will just texted me and said he's going to go play volleyball with some friends. So now I've got to figure out something a little bit easier so that it's just going to be me and Oliver. But what I did have on the menu for this week was cashew chicken one night. We have a family recipe for cashew chicken. It is so delicious. I've put it in one of my videos before and I'm sure I'll share it again. But we just do that with some white rice and it's so good. And then I also have roast on the menu. Roast in the crock pot with potatoes and carrots and all of that. And then breakfast for dinner one night. I have been loving pancakes or French toast for dinner this pregnancy. I get that craving quite often so we're going to do breakfast for dinner one night. And then I've been really wanting some chicken bacon sliders, so I picked up some of these slider rolls and I'll just do some either rotisserie chicken or chicken in the crock pot and put that on there with some bacon and we'll do some sauce and all of that. So that'll be really good. And then spaghetti and meatballs. So that's what's on the menu this week. I'm going to go ahead and share everything that we picked up for groceries and get all this put away and then we got to clean this kitchen. Okay, I'm going to start out over here. I picked up some stuff for cleaning. I got a new O-Cedar spin mop head. I saw this online and I was like, that looks like a perfect soap for the kitchen. So I grabbed that for the kitchen sink, grabbed some soap for the bathroom, and then also some new cleaning gloves. Got some new bubble bath for Oliver. I've been using, not the baby stuff, I've been using like a kid's body wash for bubble bath, but I couldn't find it online so I just grabbed that and it'll make for some very bubbly baths for Oliver. He loves his bubble baths. Picked up some powdered sugar. I'm thinking about making a butter braid this afternoon. My sister's birthday is today. And I'm going to share with you what I got her too. But I was like, that would be so fun to just make a butter braid and take it over to her. And then also steal a piece before I go back home. But I've been really wanting a butter braid. So I picked up some cherry filling, filling, some blueberry filling. And I'm probably going to make a couple of those. One for our house, one for her house. And I picked up some new detergent. I've never used this before, but Walmart had like a 3 or $5 off coupon on it. So... Got, got that this time. Oliver was asking for animal crackers. He saw those on Blippi, so I had to pick him up some of those. The cream cheese is for our butter braids. Got lots and lots of butter. We use that for everything. Spaghetti noodles, ricotta, and prego. Every time I've been making spaghetti lately, I have been putting ricotta in there and just baking it in the oven for a little bit, and it is so good. So I'll make the noodles, pour in the prego, and then pour in just like not pour in but just put a few scoops of ricotta cheese mix it all together and then top the spaghetti with some mozzarella cheese bake it at 350 for like 20 minutes and it's so good will loves it too and then we just put some meatballs in there with it got some applesauce pouches y'all know that's a staple in our house for oliver i have been really wanting some frosted mini wheats so i grabbed some of those for me got some blue gatorades these are the zero sugar and i have been loving those Got some all-purpose flour because I've just been really wanting to bake lately for the butter braids. And then also, I'm probably going to do lots of baking this week. Got some M&M ice cream bars. I love these things. I have been eating ice cream every single night. Probably not the best, but after dinner, I've just been wanting ice cream. And it's getting warm outside, so that's been a fun little thing that we've been doing. We've been driving to Sonic some nights to get some. And then some nights, we'll just do ice cream here at the house. Got some broccoli for our cashew chicken. Strawberries, avocados, bananas, onions bell pepper, some fruits and veggies for our recipes this week. I also picked up some baby carrots for our roast, but Oliver likes to dip those in ranch. Got some sweet peas for our spaghetti night. Oliver loves mandarin oranges. Got some more eggs and some Parker House style rolls. These Sister Schubert rolls are so good. I grew up on them, Will grew up on them, and now we are just, we always have them with roast. So that's what I picked up for our roast night. Got some Texas toast for spaghetti night, some Lay's barbecue chips, because the night that we do those chicken bacon sliders, I thought we could just serve it with barbecue chips. And then for our roast, I always just put in brown gravy, Italian, and ranch seasoning for the seasoning on the roast, and it is so good. If y'all have not tried that, you've got to try it. It's the best roast ever. Oliver ran out of vitamins, or as Oliver says, viba means. Viba means. I need my viba means. And then I also picked up some dry yeast for our butter braids. Oliver was asking for these cookies, so I picked those up. I'm going to do yellow potatoes with our roast this time. And then 
We always love these honey crisp apples. We go through those so fast. And I just got some russet potatoes because a lot of times for lunch, I just like to eat a baked potato. Got some chicken for recipes throughout the week. Here's my big old chuck roast. And then also some ground beef. I hate ground beef right now, but I'm gonna try to make some meatballs this week and not throw up. It's like one of my biggest aversions this pregnancy. But let's go ahead and put all of this away and then we'll get busy. All right, we got all of those groceries put away and then that day got away from me. <laughs> and so we still have this same mess in the sink the next day. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up. The day before I actually told Will, I am in so much pain. I feel so bad because I cannot keep up with the house like I used to. And at the end of the day, I was like, I bought all these groceries, but I have no energy or not necessarily energy really, but I just am in so much pain. I do not want to cook dinner. And he was like, well, let's just go grab something. Or he went and grabbed something and we ate at the house. So that was really nice. But now we have a really big mess to clean up in the kitchen. This is the second day of cleaning. So we're going to go ahead and tackle this sink mess. A lot of these dishes actually came from the fridge. When I was putting groceries away, I was also cleaning out old food so some of these dishes had been sitting in the fridge and we're going to get those all cleaned up put in the dishwasher and we're going to finish up this kitchen i started to take down all of my easter decor you saw i took down my easter decor in our bedroom and then i was taking down some bunnies in the kitchen and i was like you know what i'm not really ready to transition to summer decor yet so i left up a few things but i am going to take down a lot of the easter -y decor a lot of the bunnies and stuff and then leave some of the spring decor out but i got some new stuff that i'm really excited to share with y'all for the kitchen so i'm going to share that in just a second For the month of April, I'm really excited to be putting out just one video a week because I feel like I can put so much more time and effort into one video and pack it full of really fun stuff rather than just rushing to get my videos out. So very excited about that. We're going to be finishing up spring cleaning in April. We're going to be working on some living room projects, getting in the baby's nursery, which is currently our office, cleaning it out and getting that all organized so that when all of her little things come in, we have a place to put them. Right now, her clothes are filling up Oliver's closet. His closet is slowly turning pink. So we got to get that figured out. So that's my goal for April. And then heading into May, we're going to start working on the baby's nursery. We got to get that done sooner rather than later, especially since I am just in so much pain. I know that the further along this pregnancy gets, it's not going to get easier. So we need to get it done as fast as possible. And then I actually scheduled our vacation this year a little early um, before most kids get out of school because I was like, we probably just need to go and do our vacation before not really necessarily before summer, but as summer is starting, that way we don't have to worry about the baby coming while we're on vacation because I just don't know how this pregnancy is going to go. It's so much different than Oliver's was, so I just want to be prepared for whatever comes, and I also want to make time for that vacation with Oliver before, you know, the new baby gets here. I want to spend as much quality time with him and have as much fun this summer as I can before we welcome our new addition. So very excited for April videos. I hope y'all are excited too. I know that whenever I go to one video a week, y'all are like, Ugh, when's your next video? And I kind of feel like that too with my favorite YouTubers that I love to watch. I wish they could upload a million times a week, but of course that's just not possible when you're filming a YouTube video. It takes you twice as long to clean the area that you're cleaning. And then of course the editing process and getting it live. And if it's got a brand sponsorship, then that takes even longer so doing the best we can over here but i'm gonna get up as many videos as i can for y'all but i'm gonna go ahead and share some new stuff with y'all i ran to at home this morning i really wanted to spruce up our master bathroom just because we put the tray that we did have on our counter in the living room on our ottoman so we've kind of been there in there for a little while 
and I saw this little scalloped basket tray uh, at home today and I fell in love. thought that was so pretty, but it is massive as you can see. So I brought it home and I tried it out and it is way too big for the bathroom. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use this tray in here. I wanted something a little bit more substantial for in here anyways, and I was gonna go with some really large canisters, but for now, I'm gonna try out this scalloped tray. And I told you all at the beginning of the year, I wanted to add more scallops throughout our whole house. So I'm hoping that this will be like a little starting point and we'll just continue to add scallops. I think it's such a pretty touch. So I'm gonna take this little round tray to our master bathroom. And then I also picked up this rug from at home today. I think it's gonna be really pretty for our kitchen. At the beginning of the year, I picked up this one from Marshalls, I believe, and it's just not big enough for the space. So hopefully this one will fit the space really nice. And then I also picked up a couple other things for our master bathroom, so I'm gonna spruce up these areas real quick. Okay, my thoughts on this area are I love this little scalloped tray. Not a fan of everything on it. I really want to move that plant and that candle away from each other, so that's probably not going to stay like that. I don't want the plant to catch on fire. But I've got to find something cute to put here on this basket tray. I've lost my cookbooks. I don't know where I put them. So hopefully when we're cleaning out all of my decor totes in the garage in the next couple weeks, we stumble on my cookbooks and I can kind of stack some things on that and then we'll just play around with it and figure out a cute little setup. But I love this tray. I feel like it fills the space a whole lot better. By the way, all of these live plants that you're seeing in my video today, those are my easy plants that I shared with y'all recently. If you are really bad at keeping plants alive like me, definitely get your hands on some easy plants because it has a self-watering system. All you do is put the water in the little reservoir and you don't have to refill it for a whole month and it keeps your plant alive. That's all you have to do. You, There are like instructions about how much sunlight it gets and stuff, but other than that, super easy to keep alive. And all of my plants are still thriving and doing so well. So super excited about that. Um, this is our new little rug in the kitchen. I love it so much. I feel like it gives so much character to the kitchen without adding too much crazy color. Um, I like to not add too much color in all of the rooms in my house, really, because that way when it comes to seasonal decor, I can kind of go crazy and I have a really nice clean slate. But I love that rug. I just picked it up from at home. I will try to link it down below. Now headed over to the kitchen nook area. We have yet to find a dining room table. So recently I told y'all that I was working on a sponsorship with a brand that has a beautiful dining room table. And I was so excited to collab with one of my friends and completely make over our dining room. But that sponsorship actually fell through. So now we're back to square one. I still have my eye on a dining room table. And so probably at some point this summer you will see us transition that dining room into something Really beautiful, but for right now, we've still got that old white table that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. So hopefully we can get that figured out soon. I'm gonna go ahead and take my spray away and wipe down all of my appliances. And I was so excited to show y'all that rug that I laid it out before I even cleaned the floors in here. So here in just a second, we're gonna pull it back up, vacuum in here, mop, and the kitchen will be all reset. I was actually in the middle of vacuuming and I was gonna change out my mop head and start mopping. And then I realized I bought the wrong mop head for my O-Cedar Spin Mop. So we took this evening, we once again did not cook dinner, even though I bought all those groceries, and we went out to eat and I grabbed my O-Cedar Spin Mop head and we came home and then the next day I mopped and then for the rest of the week I actually did cook at home. But those first two nights of cleaning, or those first two days of cleaning really did me in. I was in so much pain. And then the third day I was so mad at myself for not getting enough done that I just like worked all day and got everything done and it felt so good at the end of the day, even though I was sore. It just felt so good to have our whole house reset. But anyways, we're gonna get to the floors here in just a second.
So baby Oliver was born November 1st. So we had the summer to prepare and then also almost all of fall. And I keep thinking I have summer and fall to prepare for this baby too because she's due in the fall. But then I have to quickly remind myself that she is due early September, probably will be here late August. So really I just have summer. So I have to put a little hustle in it because I keep thinking I have more time than I do. But I would love to get some freezer meals prepped before she gets here so that we have stuff that we can just pop in the oven. So if you have any really great ideas for freezer meals, leave them down below. Even if you just have the name of the recipe, I can look it up on Pinterest. But I'm gonna be searching Pinterest for some really good freezer recipes. Okay, I wanted to stop real quick and show y'all our new Wonderfold wagon. We are obsessed. I cannot wait to take this to the beach this summer and to the zoo and everywhere we go. There is a little seat in here for Oliver to sit right here. I'm gonna show you here in just a second. And then when our new baby gets here, there's another seat that goes here and they can face each other and talk. But for right now, Oliver can sit here and then he can lay down in here. You can also recline the seat. And then there's a little spot right here where he can crawl out himself, which, which is gonna be so helpful right now because I can't lift him. He is almost 50 pounds and my back hurts so bad. Plus it's shaded from the sun. There is so much storage. There's storage here. There is a big storage bag right here, a really nice brake right here. It stays really steady if you're like on a hill or something and you need to put the brake on. There's also more storage here. And then there is storage right here. So lots and lots of storage if you're going on an all day trip somewhere. I just cannot wait to use this this summer. And I could not wait to tell y'all about this. So I'm gonna leave a link down below in case y'all are interested in this. I've heard such amazing things about this wagon, but I'm gonna go ahead and put Oliver in it and let y'all see how it works. Okay, so this is the little seat that he can sit in. He absolutely loves this. In fact, we had it in the living room earlier and he was just sitting in it watching TV. <laughs> If you have littles, you definitely need this little wagon this summer. It's gonna come in so handy for all of our little adventures. I will leave a link down in my description box below for a great discount for y'all. Very excited that I was able to work with Wonderfold on that. But now we're headed into Oliver's nursery and it was a complete disaster. He was in here playing and tearing things up. But then also as I was cleaning the whole rest of the house, I was throwing all his toys in here. Just like throwing them on the floor because I knew I was gonna clean his room anyways. Here we are outside filling up his little birdhouse. We love this little clear birdhouse that suction cups to the window. We had this last year too, and we will sit in his room on the floor and play and just watch all of the birds visit. We get so many birds in the morning, not so many in the afternoon, but in the late evening, they start to come back too. And it's just so fun to watch them. A lot of times we'll get just like regular little finches and stuff, but then sometimes we'll get like really big fat red cardinals that are so cool to watch and some blue jays. So it's just really cool. I will link that little birdhouse down below. It's only $5 and the bird food, if you get like a really large bag of it, is only $6. So very affordable and it's something that will entertain your kids for a long time, all spring and summer long. So we love that little birdhouse. I'm gonna head back into the kitchen because I forgot I was actually gonna start on his room and then I ran out of energy. <laughs> So we're gonna start on his room here in just a second. This is a new day, this is the last day that I'm gonna be cleaning. But I wanted to go ahead and put my new mop head on, clean up these floors in the kitchen, and then we'll move on. Okay, we are on the third day of this whole house clean. I know that I'm gonna wrap it up today, which I'm so excited about, but I also know that at the end of the day, I'm not gonna wanna cook. So we're gonna make a crock pot meal tonight. I'm just gonna do the roast I was telling y'all about. We have a 2.37 pound pot roast, 
and it's just a chuck pot roast. I'm gonna put some yellow potatoes, baby carrots, and onion, and then I just sprinkle the Italian packet, ranch packet, and brown gravy packet on top of my roast, and then add a fourth cup of water, and cook that on high for five to six hours, and it is delicious. Is there anything better than a crock pot recipe at the end of a long work day? I absolutely love it. It is so easy and dinner is on the table with very little effort. So very excited to have that roast in the crock pot. And also I got a new laundry detergent on my Walmart grocery order. I'm not sure if I shared that in the haul or not, but it was an Arm & Hammer blue clean scent. I'll link it down below. It smells so good and it actually reminded me of my Aunt Patty's house. Um, she used, her house always used to smell like dinner was cooking and clean laundry. <laughs> and my house smelled like that on this day thanks to that laundry detergent and the roast cooking in the crock pot. It just smelled so good, so clean, and like I was finally getting somewhere in this whole house clean. And at the end of this day, I was so proud of myself, even though I really pushed myself probably harder than I should have. It just felt so good to have everything reset. And I'm gonna do my best to not let it get out of hand until this baby gets here. Just keep up with it because it's way easier to keep up with it on a daily basis than it is to do these whole house cleans. I'm sure you'll see another whole house clean, but it was very, very deserved at the end of this day to just sit down to a crock pot meal. But now we're in the master bathroom getting it all cleaned up. This bathroom has been so cluttered ever since we took the mirror tray out of here. So I wanted to get a tray back in here. We stole this one from the kitchen when we replaced that one with the scalloped tray. So I'm just gonna put a few things on here, a candle, a plant, some perfume. Eventually we'll decorate this bathroom really nice, but right now it's kind of in transition. But this little tray will help us keep everything organized in here and it just makes it look a little bit nicer. I'm gonna wipe down the front of these cabinets. We're gonna clean the toilet, the tub, and get this bathroom all reset. at home that day I knew we needed a new trash can for this bathroom so I picked up this little metal one and then I also grabbed two more of those lemon hand soaps that I shared in my grocery haul because I saw them sitting by the checkout at at home and they smell so good it smells like a box of lemon drops so fresh and we just love that scent so I grabbed two more of those I'm gonna clean up this toilet we're gonna clean up the tub Oliver has his own bathroom, but he likes to take baths in here, so his toys are always all over my tub. We're going to get that cleaned up and disinfect that tub, clean the floors in here, get everything reset. His little toilet is sitting right there, too. We've been potty training here and there. We haven't been super serious about it just because I'm waiting for him to show, like, a real interest in it before I start. I've heard that if you try to start too early, it just does not work out. But I will say, the days that I've really focused on it, he's done so well. And I feel like he's mature enough and at an age right now where he would really get it if I stuck to it for several days. But we're kind of just in that time right now where I'm like, okay, should we go for it or should we not? I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say um, that if you have a new baby coming, there is a regression that happens. And I don't want that to happen. But I also feel like if we get it done early like sooner rather than later, he would master it before the baby ever got here. So we'll see. I'm just kind of playing that by ear right now, but let's go ahead and get this tub cleaned up. I'm just gonna use my pink stuff and one of these extension rods. I 
I wanted to give y'all a little update on this pregnancy since I shared at the beginning that we had a subchorionic hemorrhage and placenta previa. I feel like this baby has had so many things going on and Oliver's pregnancy was just so smooth, so I'm not used to that. But I wanted to give y'all a little update. So we are almost 19 weeks at this point and I, when I'm doing this voiceover, I'll have about two more days until we're 19 weeks and the subchorionic hemorrhage is completely gone. We learned that probably about a month ago, which was big news. I, that was so worrisome for me. I had never heard of that, and then when I started to Google it, I just saw, like, terrible things, and it's just one of those things that I'm glad I don't have to worry about anymore, and then um, after we found out we had a subchorionic hemorrhage at our next appointment, we found out that I had placenta previa, which, um, you know, would require a C-section because the placenta comes before the baby and it can cause a rupture. So I was concerned about that too, but then they said that that had all cleared up and it had moved out of the way, so that's amazing. But now she is breech, <laughs> which I think is kind of common at this point in pregnancy, but let's just all pray that she flips head down because I would love to just, you know, do a natural birth not natural, <laughs> definitely getting an epidural, but I would love to just be able to do, you know, a regular birth rather than have a C-section. I did a regular one with Oliver and it seemed to go very smooth other than I did have to um, be cut and that was like a, a big healing process, but I just feel like it's a little bit easier than um, a C-section recovery. I, you know, I guess I can't speak on that because I've never had one, but my sister had one and it just seems rough and it just seems like very intense. I would rather just do it regular. I feel like a lot of people would say the same thing. But anyways, um, we'll pray for that. But I'm very thankful to have those other two issues resolved. All right, our master bathroom is all cleaned. I didn't clean our shower today. I just straightened up the soap bottles and stuff and made it look nice in there. But now we're moving into the living room. Our living room gets like this every single day because <laughs> we scoot the ottoman out of the way to let him play on his nugget. I throw the clean laundry on the couch and then whatever we did throughout the day is just strewn. So we're gonna get this all straightened up and vacuum in here. Running in the woods alone and still. Somewhere, somehow, I guess I lost it all. Try to keep it up and stand in the tall. Why don't you stay? Stay, cause I can really use a friend. Stay, please stay, cause my heart really needs a man. Sometimes when I'm really overwhelmed with my house or just whatever's going on in life, I will text my sisters. We have like a sister group thread where we kind of just talk all day long about random stuff. And I remember on this day, I was texting my sister saying, I am so overwhelmed. My house is just such a disaster. Actually, I think it was the day before this. And I was like, I cannot get caught up because I'm in so much pain. And my sister Lacey, she goes, well, let me come over and clean your house. It'll take me three hours to do the whole thing. And I said, yeah, right. I said, there is so much going on over here. But then she kind of inspired me when she said that because I was like, well, if she thinks she can get my whole house done in three hours, then I should be able to get it done in three days. <laughs> so I just really put um, a little pep in my step, got a little hustle going because I was like, I'm tired of spending my days cleaning and I want to go have some fun. So I made sure this day that I got everything finished and it felt so good. I'm not encouraging anybody to try to work hard or hustle when you are in pain. But for me, I feel like I feel a little bit better when I keep going. If I sit around and just feel sorry for myself, it, it's worse. My mental health goes down the toilet. So we are going to keep moving as much as we can. I do take lots of breaks, so don't worry about me. <laughs> Sometimes y'all will leave comments, girl, take care of yourself. Make sure you slow down for this baby. And I do, so don't worry. I always you know, take little breaks throughout the day, get myself a little snack, sit down and relax. But I was bound and determined to get our house reset because I was tired of just living in mess all the time. And then when I get my whole house reset all at once, or at least all in one week, then it's so easy to keep up with. And I feel like a million bucks because I can wake up, you know, do a load of dishes, a load of laundry, and I'm, we're back to a clean house. But when it's just always a mess, it just keeps me stressed out all the time. So a clean house is a clean mind for me, and I was so glad to have our whole entire house reset this week. beginning
The living room is all reset and now we're headed into the guest bathroom. This is actually where Will shaves in the morning so the mirror gets really splattered. So I'm just going to straighten up in here, disinfect the countertops, the toilet, and get it all reset. But I did want to say in the living room I'm about to start on some projects. I wanted to do some board and batten by the front door and get our entryway all fixed up. But then whenever I went to actually start on that project I got a little chickened out because I did not want to start board and batten and then regret it. So I was trying to make sure that's where I wanted it because once you do that, it is really hard to undo it. So still working on that. That's going to be done probably this month. I want to get our living room in a place where it just like feels done. It's never really felt done the whole time we lived here and I want it to feel cozy and a place where we can just relax instead of me just sitting there thinking about all the things I want to do to it. <laughs> so we're going to be getting that settled pretty soon. But here in the guest bathroom, I'm just taking my Clorox spray, wiping everything down. I'm going to, well, I thought I was going to take down the Easter decor, but I think I'm just going to leave it up for now. And we're going to be doing a video soon when we decorate for summer, where we take down all of the rest of our Easter decor and decorate for summer and just give our whole house a little summer refresh. not least we are moving into Oliver's room it was a complete disaster toys everywhere like I said a little bit earlier he was playing in here but I was also tossing his toys in here from all over the house so that's not all his fault we're gonna open these windows and just start tackling it he was actually sleeping right now so I had time to do it without him coming in here and playing again so I'm gonna start with the blocks I feel like these blocks are gonna be the death of me I told you all on Instagram the other day I stepped on one and it hurt so bad it was my first step on a Lego moment as a mom 
but we're going to get the blocks cleaned up first and then I go to his train track stuff because all of his train track stuff goes in one basket and that eliminates a lot of the clutter and then we're going to eliminate all of the clutter off of his bed and just move from one spot to the other until we get it all tackled and I don't know you might see a bird visit our birdhouse here and there here but this was actually probably like midday so there might not be too many birds we usually get a lot in the morning and then a lot in the evening um, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm constantly sharing our little bird visitors on my Instagram stories. And I will have my Instagram linked down below. But anyways, let's get this room cleaned up. Right next to Oliver's room is our office that we're eventually going to turn into a nursery. And right now, it's kind of a storage room. So y'all will see that this month too, being all cleaned up and organized for the baby. But you're not going to see that one today. I completed our garage this past week and we have those big leather couches in there and Will's dad came to get those. So that's been really nice. We have plenty of room to park our car now. So I'm gonna be sharing the garage clean out and the office clean out very soon. Very excited to have everything reset. It feels so nice. Even the attic feels pretty organized right now. So I feel like we're finally getting somewhere and I'm very glad to be there before I'm super big and pregnant because that would be very hard to tackle when, as I get further along in this pregnancy. But let's go ahead and finish up this room. Oliver has way more toys than he does room. I've actually done a recent declutter of all of his toys and it's helped a lot, but I will say he's found some of the ones that I tried to declutter before I could take them to their destination. So some of them have ended up back in here. And then also our organization system, I would say is pretty good. He's got a thing in the closet where I put his books in one caddy, his puzzles in one, and then his random toys in another and then he's got two toy baskets where I'll put one I use one for all of his train stuff and then one for all of his cars and then he's also got three more baskets on the other side of his closet that I have like different categories for I have like little people all of his dinosaurs and then this one by the door of his bedroom this collects just everything <laughs> that I find throughout the house so it's always like overflowing and I have to kind of get things out organize them in other places and so anyways, he's got so many toys and a little tiny room, but we're gonna do the best we can with this and then we're gonna vacuum in here. that is going to be it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for stopping by and especially if you've made it this far in the video. I appreciate you so much. It means the world to me that you stopped by to watch. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and stop back by on Friday for a brand new video. This April I'll be uploading every single Friday as long as everything goes to plan and I would love for you to stop back by. We're going to be doing lots of fun projects starting on the nursery, planning and packing for a vacation. So it's going to be a very fun spring and summer over here at the Yarbrough house as we get ready for this baby. But thanks again for stopping by and I will see y'all very soon. Bye!